Lango. You go there, Lango, now, and, and you'd have none of the boys here or even wearing no a watch. Do you know, Lango, when the boys would go out, when the lads would go out, the first thing you were told, X, Y, Z, examine your zip. <laughs> Do you know, I guess the fly would be open. And then you see, when you got a bit, a bit older, twas, um, what is it now, again, um, spectacles, testicles, wallet, and watch. <laughs> but sure, even that is gone now. Should the spectacles now, they're replaced by contact lenses. Then the wallet, should that's replaced by the phone. Should have two your cards inside the phone, you don't need any. Spectacles, testicles, wallet and watch, and the watch is replaced by the phone. So the only thing left, I suppose, is the... <laughs> the testicles, you're right there, and you hope they're, they're left anyway, so you know. But, but you're hanging up when you hope they'd be hanging around. Which is like the old tailors long ago, that, oh my God, they knew how to look after people long ago. When you'd go into the tailor, they'd say, and which side does it hang, sir? <laughs> you see? I'm telling you every bit was taken into account. Because if they didn't, you say, and it could be all scrunched up, like, you know. It could, it could, be, it could be like this old crunch we're going through now that we have to stay at home. It could be all scrunched up. And you could end up, you know, like, what's that film they always show around Christmas? Willy Wonka, that's it, Willy Wonka. Well, if you would have scrunched up like that, you'd end up with a wonky willy. <laughs> but there was this fella anywhere from up our way, and he was years ago, and he was after getting a, a suit made, tailor made. <laughs> and she had just inside, he would in anywhere, and the tailor fetched him out inside, leg the whole oh, God, God, he had a fabulous suit of clothes anyway. He went in to collect the tailor made, he looked that business. When he spruced, he cleaned himself up, he put on the brood. Do you know the boys here have brood? You can see how the ladies are showing up, John. Whoa, whoa. But, do you know, it wasn't quite right. So he said he'd have to go back to the tailor with the suit. It wasn't kind of, I suppose, it wasn't falling one way and the other way. He just, it wasn't right. So he went in, he went in with the suit, but wasn't the tailor away and wasn't his daughter there. My God, she was gorgeous. Blonde hair going all the way down, legs coming all the way up. And not the makings of a decent handkerchief covering the middle. Legs, my boy, he was too embarrassed to tell her what was wrong. And she said, come on, she said, you have to tell me what was wrong with the suit. No, he said, I'll wait for the tailor to come back. Well, he won't be back for a fortnight now. You can tell me what's wrong with the suit. And after fierce coaxing anyway, your men came out with you and he said, Well, tell me, miss, he said, were you ever at the ballroom in Lyra Compan? Oh, she said, there's no ballroom in Lyra Compan. <laughs> well, he said, that's what's wrong with the suit. 